Lord. Amen. 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 We receive that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to ask you to please give honor where honor is due and ask you to stand to your feet. As I present to some and introduce to others, none other than our pastor, the founder of Words of Life Ministry of the Apostolic Faith. Please put your hands together for Elder Darian McKinnon in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor McKinnon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Absolutely, we thank God for his blessing on today. Hallelujah. That he, hallelujah, have blessed us and enabled us to come here and worship unto him. I want to thank my wife in the name of Jesus for that she do. And thank all of you all for coming out. And for those going down in Jesus' name on yesterday. Hallelujah. You have done a tremendous thing. Hallelujah. It's a life-changing event. Thank you, Jesus. And also, as my wife has stated, please keep those in prayer that, that are not here, that are, are traveling, and also that are ill on today. Keep them up in prayer in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. If everyone would stand, please. We're going to go straight away on into the scriptures. As it is our custom here that we stand... Hallelujah, in the reading of the word of God. It's after Nehemiah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to 1 John 2. 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2. Thank you, Lord Jesus. One scripture, verse 1. It reads, My little children, these things written I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Amen? Amen. Father, bless us as this word come forth, God. God, in the name of Jesus, may I decrease and you increase in me, God, and put this word out, God, that it touch the hearts from which you directing it to do, God. It shall not fall, hallelujah, in void. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You may be seated. Jesus, our advocate. Jesus, our advocate. Thank you, Jesus. Now, an uh, advocate, what is an uh, advocate? Really, it's kind of like a lawyer. Uh, when you go to court, you have an advocate, and that advocate is a lawyer. But an advocate is more than just a lawyer. Uh, but a lot of times, an advocate, they, they do stuff pro bono. We, we all know what pro bono is. They're free. Yeah, they'll do it free. There you go. Amen. And they want to do it because of the cause. They, they're not doing it even when they get paid, just to get paid. An advocate it will be in your corner. They're not a public defender. A public defender, they goes because that's their job. And they got to go and defend you whether they feeling all right that day or not. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, thank you. There was a court case, and there was a woman that had cheated on her fiance, stole his money, and then she shot him. Even though he died on the hospital bed for three minutes, they brought him back to life. Hallelujah. He lived and recovered without issue. The man was still in love with his wife-to-be. She told him that she was sorry for what she had done. And he said, and she said, forgive me. And he said, I forgive you because I love you. I would give my life up for you, is what he told her. I would always be here for you. I would never leave you. 
even though the man wanted to drop the charges against her, the law states that she must be prosecuted. The strangest thing is that the man was a lawyer. And when court time came, he represented her. Now, against the prosecution. Now, he was the victim and the defender. Mm. They had a supreme bench trial, which is to say a bench trial is when a judge, he, he do all the proceedings and he makes the hear, I mean, he hear all the evidence and makes the decision himself. They don't have a jury. He decides whether the person is guilty or innocent. The decision by the Supreme Bench judge cannot be overturned by no other court system or judge. Amen? Yeah. Now, it goes to say, Your Honor, this is an open and shut case. This is what a prosecutor, he starts off. The defendant committed the crime. I have irrefutable evidence of the crime committed. Exhibit one, a videotape of her cheating with another man. She was caught in the eye, red-handed as we would say. Exhibit number two, an exhibit is just evidence. I have her online banking transfers, where she transferred all her fiance's money out of his account without his authorization. Mm. Exhibit number three. We have the smoking gun that she shot him with. She tried to kill him. We have the hospital records which states that he died for three minutes on the hospital bed before they brought him back again. Lastly, they brought some character witnesses in to tell all her dirt. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To make her look worse than she already was looking. So in my closing arguments, he says, the evidence that I have presented to the court is irrefutable evidence of the crime committed by the defendant. The defendant was now, the defendant has done the crime, now she must pay the time. So says the laws. Your Honor, I rest my case. The defense begins with his opening statement. Your Honor, as you know, this is my wife to be, my fiance. I love my wife to be. In the beginning, our relationship, everything was great. Uh, but a friend of ours came over. And I described it as a friend of me. <laughs> and that friend got my fiance to smoke some reefer. And that reefer went from crack to liquor bottle to prescription drugs. Now she's addicted, hallelujah, to all those all mind altering things. It's totally severed our relationship. She didn't want me anymore. All she wanted was those things that could feed her addiction and gave her a false hope of an enjoyable life. Her addiction caused her to be out of her mind. She was not herself anymore. She acted, hallelujah, totally like another person through her walk and her behavior. Her addiction caused her to search out other men to assist her in enabling her addiction. Her addiction caused her to steal money from me to support our habit. She also, hallelujah, was so high and strung out on the drugs until she shot me because I wouldn't join or enable her, hallelujah, elusive lifestyle of happiness. Finally, he brought in some character witness, hallelujah, to show how wonderful she was before she got on drugs or before her addiction, or how great she was a person 
after she became, hallelujah, free from her addiction. Your honor, my fiance was out of her mind when she did all of this. Your honor, I know that she have done these crimes and should do the time. Your honor, I feel, hallelujah, that I have paid the time for her crime by the shedding of my blood, by me being dead on that hospital bed. Hallelujah. I feel that I got a right to make a decision in this. But your honor, my fiance have asked me to forgive her and I have. She is now addiction free and promised to stay that way. I will be there to help her every day, step by step and day by day. Even as she falls, I will be there to pick her up again because I love her. Thank you, Jesus. Sir, I know you don't understand, but this is the kind of love that's beyond understanding. This is a forever love. It's a faultless love. It's a forgiving love. It's a love that goes beyond law. Hallelujah. In my closing arguments, in the beginning, I was in love with her. At the end, I will still be in love with her. No matter what comes our way, I will still be in love with her. Even when she didn't love me, I loved her. Even after all of this, I still love her. Hallelujah. She's still going to be my wife. Hallelujah. And the supreme, the supreme bench judge rendered a verdict. And he said, not guilty. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, what an awesome advocate he was to her. He could be that because he experienced things. He, ex he can talk for her because he experienced what she done to him. Even though he loved her, hallelujah, and didn't want her to suffer any more than she has. He's like, I paid for that. She was not in her right mind, but has been free from the addiction. Now she is in her right mind. Thank you. Now, as we move on into our scripture, we find God creating the world in Genesis chapter one and day one. On the sixth day of creation, God created man. Man was created to one day be the bride of Jesus, or to be the bride of God, one and the same. Revelation 9, 19 says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb, the lamb is Jesus, is coming. And his wife, his wife is us has made herself ready. Thank you, Jesus. And to her it was granted that she should array in fine linen, clean and white. For the linen, fine linen is the righteousness of saints. The fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Other words, what he was saying with that is that it's what you do that is right according to the word of God, not according to us. But what you do that is according to the word of God, it makes you righteous. Amen. And that's your fine linen that you're Amen. dressing in. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And it makes you ready for the bridegroom, which is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's wow. move on. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, thank you. In Ephesians, it says, for thy maker is thine husband. It's Ephesians 50, uh, excuse me, Isaiah 54 and 5. For the maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, Jesus. And thou redeemer, the holy one of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. Yeah. Hallelujah. In other words, he is your husband. 
Hallelujah. You is his bride. Amen. Whether you male or female. Yes. Don't get it confused. Because we talk, we're talking spiritual. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. While in the courting process, the courting process <laughs> with the Lord, man messed up the relationship by committing the sin. And that act severed our relationship with the Holy Bridegroom, the Lord God Almighty. Somebody say, but God. But God. But God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 31 and 3 says, The Lord had appeared unto O of O unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. He's talking about his, hallelujah, his fiance. Yeah, his bride. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. Woo, my God said, I love you with an everlasting love. That's what he's talking about. He's telling man that. Oh. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Now, what is he talking about? Hallelujah. From the beginning of the fall of man, you know, God had a, 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 a God had a, a plan. Hallelujah. With an expected end. His thought was that I'm going to get you back. I'm going to get you back. Hallelujah. I'm going to get you back. He had a thought that I'm going to get you back. You have fallen away from me. I had to remove you because of your sin, but I'm going to get you back. Now, but I can Man must again become acceptable to a holy God, Jesus. to a God of righteousness. How can we repair such a relationship mm -hmm. to come into the standings of a holy God? Romans 6 and 23 says, for the wages of sin is death. Yes. Hallelujah. So man should die eternally, spend eternal time of death in hell. So says the law of God. Even though man seems to be doomed, for death because of his sin by God's plan. Hallelujah. And the, the name was, excuse me, even though man seemed to be doomed for death, but God had a plan. Yes, yes. And his name of his plan was Jesus Christ. Oh, our advocate. My Lord, my Lord. I must confess now that I didn't read all of that scripture just then of Romans 6 and 23. It says, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. In other words, that comes through Jesus Christ, that eternal life. Hallelujah. Now, so the trial of eternity, it begins. It will be a supreme bench trial. God is the judge. Hallelujah. And his, his, his answer is the final answer. The opening statement from the prosecuting attorney, whose name is Lucifer, a.k.a. Satan, or the devil. He is the prosecuting attorney in this trial. God, you know that man has sinned. He has disobeyed, disobeyed to your law. We know how great you are and how holy you are, and you never go back on your word. You must not, hallelujah, uh, you said no one, uh, none of your words shall fall to the ground. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, without it being performed or what it proclaimed to do. You have proclaimed in your word that those who commit sin must die. Jesus. Now you, you listen at the devil. He's he, he throwing it out there. Your man, your man, that you may have sinned and must die. He said, I present my case and this exhibit evidence. Hallelujah, I'm going to go through it kind of fast. It is the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not, thou shalt have no other God before me. Then he said, Aaron and, and, and uh, Jeroboam, they built some golden calves and had the people worshiping. They had some gods before you. 
Thou shalt not, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Your people in the Hebrews made graven images, hallelujah, all types, and had them placed up in the high places. The high places and worship them. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. Jeremiah 23 and uh, 25 says, I have heard what the prophets say. That prophecy, hallelujah, lies. That the prophet lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed a dream. They was lying. They had dreamed no dream from God. Thank you, Jesus. Even on today, people are taking God's name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And the devil says, God, your people ain't keeping none of the days holy. <laughs> you talking about the Sabbath day. Hallelujah. Honor thy father and thy mother. And the devil says, Lucifer says, God, your men don't even don't honor nobody but themselves. Pride rings out in men. Look at Saul, the first king that you chose, uh, or that the people chose, uh, that you chose. Uh, hallelujah. He was all about himself. Thou shalt not kill, God. You had murder in the first family. When Cain killed Abel. And they're still killing each other today. With words and guns. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Hallelujah. Your man has committed adultery by serving other gods and chasing after them. Thank you, Jesus. Thou shalt not steal. Mm, well, how are the people stealing from you, God? They're robbing you. How? By not paying their tithes and giving their offerings, which are a commandment unto you. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. I know the man, hallelujah, I know man, you made. He lies. Why? Because I'm the father of them, is what the devil says. So I know when a man lies. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Oh God, your man has been robbing and stealing and killing his neighbor and taking everything that he has, <laughs> including his wife. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he says in my closing argument, God, I know these things to be true evidence. Because why? Because it come up out of your word. That devil, he knows how to, it comes out of your word, God. It's an open and shut case. Hallelujah. Man have sinned and committed the crime, and now they must pay with the time of eternal death. Listen at the devil, how, how he using God's word and stuff. Hallelujah. Oh, holy God, I rest my case. Now, it's time for the defense to speak. The defender. Hallelujah. Speaking on the behalf of the defender is a man, hallelujah, and his name is Jesus Christ, the advocate. Jesus' opening argument starts, God, you made man in your image to be holy, sinless, pure, because the objective was that we would spend our life in eternity with him or with Jesus, or with God. But man was disobedient and sinned and fell from your place of holiness in that relationship. It was severed. We know that sin cannot stay in your presence. So the sinful man was removed. So you removed him, hallelujah, from your presence. At the same time, you had a plan to get him back. Hallelujah. Because he loved us. Jesus says, I know that man sinned. Romans 3 and 23 says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. God, for your righteous law, pronounces them guilty on all counts that the prosecution is charging. We have violated God's standards, rejected his rule, and live like we won't. And continue to sin even after we at the knowledge that we know God. That's right. Hallelujah. For 10, Hebrew 10 and 26 says, 
For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there will remain no sacrifice for sin. Hallelujah. The only just punishment for such wickedness is eternal hell. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Now, hallelujah. But I know also that you have created me. This is Jesus. Hallelujah. The advocate of talking. I know you have created me for such a time as this. Yeah. Yeah. I know that you're, hallelujah, you're full of compassion and mercy towards man. Psalm 78 and 38 say, but if he being full of compassion forgave the iniquities and destroyed them not, yea, many a time turned he his anger away and did not stir up his wrath. In other words, God, he could have killed us in our tracks That's right. That's right. because of our sin, our iniquity. Right. But he had mercy on yeah. us. He had mercy mm, on us. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Giving us a chance to repent. Yeah, yeah. Giving us a chance. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, to God. seek him. Yes, yes, Thank you, Lord. Yes, Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, Psalms 86 and 15 says, But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, yes. gracious, long-suffering, Plenteous in mercy yes. and in truth. Yes. That's our God. Yes, he is. That's Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's compassionate. Mm -hmm. He's compassionate. Mm -hmm. He's plenteous mm -hmm. in mercy. Yeah. Yeah. And mercy is that unfavorable uh, grace that we receive. Yes. Yes. You know you're guilty. Amen. Yes. And you ask for and, and, and he forgives you anyway. Yes. Where you don't even have to serve the time. Woo, hallelujah. That's our God. That's how you know. We all. We all. Hallelujah. We all. Hallelujah. Have been there. And still trying to make it. Amen. Thank you Jesus. But because of his mercy. He said they'll renew every morning. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. I'm going to have to end right here. Hallelujah. I'm going to finish it up next week. Thank you, Lord. Thank Jesus, you. our advocate. Hallelujah. Jesus, our advocate. We got, it's going to be a part two. Jesus, our advocate. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If everyone would stand, Thank you, Lord Jesus. I do want to express hallelujah and appreciation. Thank you, Lord, to and an outreach to those in media land. Hallelujah. Facebook and, and the different hallelujah sources of media that are watching. If the Lord have touched your heart, you may come to Words of Life Ministry of the Apostolic Faith. Thank you, Jesus. Come and take a drink of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Woo! He's here waiting on you with open arms. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. There's help here yes. in the sanctuary. Oh, you, Hallelujah. You, there is help here in the sanctuary. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. If you would like to be baptized, hallelujah, go to our website, get the information. Words of Life Ministry, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Words of Life Ministry 20.org. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Get in touch with us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If we uplift the hands, everybody, thank you, Lord. Lord, we appreciate you. We magnify you and we glorify you on this day. We thank you for the opportunity, God, to go into the word. Hallelujah. That you would give us this word, God, that would condition our hearts and our minds that 
we will be drawn closer unto you, Father. Yes, God. Hallelujah, God. Let us be obedient in this word, God. Let us be strengthened by this word, God. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, cause this word, God, to, ooh, God, to, 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 mm, God, to yes. touch those hearts. Call them to respond unto you, God. Open up the mind. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you. And we magnify you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus.